So then we zoom out, we want to look at the site architecture. Now the common things we're going to find with this, uh, site canonicalization. You're, you're, I know why you're smiling. <laughs> I mean, you know, this is, this is basic stuff that we should all have got right all the time, um, but web designers, bless them, um, don't always get it right. So this is just, if I go to one, I should have one version, the canonical version of my site. If I go to the dub 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 version, that should work, and if I go to the non dub dub version, it should redirect using a 301 redirect to the dub 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 version, or vice versa, whichever way you want to do it. So many sites don't do that. So that's a common thing that we find is that that's not in place. And that means that, look, Google's pretty smart. They can work out that they're meant to be the same site, but they don't always get it right, and it just means that your link juice isn't getting the full value that it could be getting. So you might as well fix it. Duplicate content's another, another big one. Um, so uh, Webmaster Tools will call this out for you. They'll, they'll say you've got duplicate um, uh, title tags, duplicate meta descriptions. Uh, you can also take a snippet of text off the page and just say, look, is, it, you know, is that duplicate? You could check Copyscape, uh, even for duplicate across other sites. Uh, we often find sites that don't have a robots.txt file or they don't have a sitemap XML file, or the files are invalid, you know, they don't, they don't parse correctly. So again, this is, this is, not, um, this is not tricky stuff, but it, it's important for the site that, that these things are in place and that they're, they're good. Technically, you don't need a sitemap to, you certainly don't need a sitemap to rank in Google. Uh, you don't need a robots.txt file. If you don't have one, the search engines will just say, yep, I can go, to, go and look at anything I want to look at. Um, but it will mean that you, it will mean that your website server is working a little bit harder than it needs to, because if it can't find a page, that's actually harder for it to do than to give back the page. So when you get a request for robots.txt every time Google visits your site, that's generating errors that you don't need to generate. So just that, just fix that stuff. This is another big one: poor site architecture and internal linking. This is, you'll often see sites that have, you, you can tell that they've sort of grown organically as the site owner, uh, the webmaster who's probably the business owner has added on extra pages. Creative Smiles is a great example of that as well. Um, you know, they've just sort of banged on extra pages as they thought, oh, I should have a thing on my case studies. Oh, I should have a thing on something else. And they have, there's no thought given to how should the site really be organized. So think about the users that are coming to the site and we want to have a good architecture. This is, I mean, this is a typical diagram, you know, we want to have category level, you know, coming down to, uh, you know, possibly two levels of category, depending on how many categories of stuff we've got, um, down to page page level. So you just want to think about, you know, how do we organise the site? So if you're on WordPress, you'll typically make five to seven categories that you are, that, that's what you're going to talk about. They're your main sort of topics that you group information into. And when you create new content, it goes into one of those categories. That's, that's, that's basically information architecture. Um, so we often find that that hasn't been thought through. And uh, internal linking is another one. So it kind of goes into navigation, but you know, their internal linking policy might not, be, um, might not be too flush. They might have footer links and that sort of stuff. Global navigation, Creative Smiles, Web Team, Score yet again. They've got the Flash navigation, which means, look, Google can sort of crawl Flash, but it's not the best. Um, or JavaScript. So uh, we really want our global navigation to be links. So that's the best navigation to have. The only time that I would say that you would use JavaScript for global navigation is if you've got a massive site like Amazon and you actually don't want your home page to be giving out thousands of links. So that's where you might actually decide to do it the other way. But for the most sites, uh, just Good links is better. And the other thing that will often come up in a site architecture um, when we look at that part of it is that the, uh, the folder depth, you know, you've got URLs that are really long. There's, there's lots of folders in them. So one of the e-commerce sites that I worked on, the, the system that they used meant that they had a lot of phantom sort of folders in the middle of their um, URL uh, architecture. So the, the folders didn't actually exist. and um, they, they serve no purpose other than to make the URL a whole lot longer to get to the actual product page. Uh, 